Hello everyone, how are y'all doing out there? Good, I hope. Welcome back to the In Her Power channel. For today, we're gonna talk about some really fun, fun stuff. We're going to talk about candles and how to use candles for your intention setting. What are the colors that are best to use? How should you use your candles? We'll get all into that in this video, so let's get started. you are a subscriber, if you're not, you should be, but if you're a subscriber, you will have remembered the video that I did where I was talking about how to create an altar. Actually, before I get into this, I want to say this really quickly. I am filming this on a weekend, which means my family is here. Normally when I film, it's during a weekday. I don't know if you'll be able to hear any of the background noise. I have my lapel mic right here. And that's usually where I keep my mic so that you can only hear my voice. You don't hear the sounds around me. But in the event that you hear any background noises, my daughter just out here making noise, having fun, enjoying herself, my dog doing whatever he's doing, barking or whatever, or my wife talking on the, on the phone. Okay, just letting you know that this is not a, normally, uh, a normal recording day for me. So just wanted to kind of give that little preface first. Back to the candles. Okay, if you're a subscriber, you will have remembered that I did a video where I was talking about how to set up your altar. And one of the things that I talked about in setting up your altar is having candles. Now, I just gave a really brief overview, really just said have candles to represent the element of fire. But in this video, we're gonna go a little more in depth talking about how to use those candles what you can use candles for. Maybe you don't want to set up a whole altar, but you want to do your candle magic or intention setting. We'll call it intention setting and not magic and spells because magic and spells sometimes freaks people out. Um, so first I'm going to talk about colors and what the different colors mean. And then I'm going to talk about how to dress your candles. Okay. I have my notes right here to refer to so I don't forget anything. Um, it's easier for me to just read the notes. Sometimes I try to make it seem like I'm all knowing and everything and I'm just, all the information is in my dome. It is, but sometimes I just need a helpful nudge or a little reminder. So we'll get into the colors. First color up uh, is white. It's a very common color that people use for their candle magic work. Uh, white can mean unity, harmony, piece. It is great for evoking the lunar energy. So if you happen to work with the moon cycles, using a white candle will enhance that moon energy. It also brings about the divine feminine, the white candle. And it's really great for like when you're in meditation for protection, for overall kind of like balancing your energies. If you don't specifically know what you want to use your candles for, white kind of is a good all-purpose candle to use, similar to like clear quartz crystal. If you don't really know how to use a crystal or what crystal's best, clear quartz is always good. Same with white candles, always good for just kind of an all-purpose candle use. Next up is black. Black can be used to neutralize any negative energy. So if you want really that additional strong, powerful protection to ward off any negative energy from you, you can light a black candle. If you happen to notice that there's some energy that's around you that already feels negative, maybe you feel weighted down and you want to remove that energy, lighting a black candle is helpful for that. Black can also be used for grounding. So often people think that black candles are used for like negative things, bad things, in terms of the things that you wanna send out. And I have found that black is really good for um, possibilities for newness, for protection and grounding and all that good stuff, but it's also to bring about some additional clarity in my spiritual work. That's just for me. But in overall, black neutralizes negative energy and protects you from any negative energies. Next up is red. Red is my favorite color. You burn red when you want to attract a new love. 
Let me get a little more specific here in this and I'll have another little snippet where I talk about this a little bit more. I would not advise to have a person in mind when you want to attract love uh, because you want to make sure that this person is loving you out of their own free will. So I would recommend that you just kind of have a general, like you want to bring in romantic love, receive romantic love rather than having a specific person in mind. Red is also a good candle to burn for passion, for increased confidence, power, strength, uh, red is a very powerful candle to use, so that's what I would use red candles for. Orange. Orange is good for creativity. Um, I also use orange for career objectives, career goals that I have. Um, it's also good for luck and for joy. The next candle color is yellow, and yellow can be used for intellect, for clarity, wisdom, mental power can also be used for creativity. If you're studying, you're a student, and you need uh, some help in bringing about like a focused, clear mind so you're not distracted by what's going on around you, you can burn a yellow candle for that clear mind, clear thoughts, clear focus on uh, your homework, your tasks, whatever that is. The next candle color is green. And when people think about green, they automatically think about money, drawing in more money. And yes, you can use green for money. You can also use green for um, abundance of anything, whether that's health in your life, abundance of luck, abundance of success. It doesn't have to just be money. Green can be abundance of things. You can also burn green for love as well, because green, if you remember in the chakra videos, is the color of the heart chakra. And you can also burn green to connect you to Mother Earth. So if you want to be more grounded in your energy, you want to be more grounded in your meditation, you can burn a green candle to keep you connected to that Mother Earth energy. Next candle color is blue. And blue is a really great color for emotion, for healing any type of emotional energy. If you think about the color of blue, oftentimes we think of water, the ocean, which is a healing element. So you can use the candle color blue for healing emotions. You can also use it for rest, serenity, patience, peace, calmfulness, mindfulness, all of that good stuff. And when you use it in your meditations, you burn a, a blue candle in your meditations, what you're asking is to bring that calmful, calmful, <laughs> I don't know, that calming, peaceful energy into your body, into your spirit when you're meditating. The next candle color is purple. Purple is the color that is all about spiritual enlightenment. You want to enhance your psychic abilities, burn purple. You want to enhance your spiritual awakening, burn purple. You want to bring, a, bring forth like your intuition, you want to do some astral projection, burn purple. Um, it's also good for when you're doing like divination and you want to have some spiritual wisdom, you want to connect to your ancestors. Purple is the color for all of those things. And the last color that I have on my list, there are other colors that you can use. Um, you can look those up to see what those colors are specifically for. But the last color that I have is pink. And pink is the color that's all about love. But pink is much more about, um, it could be about a self-love. It can also be a sweet love and could be for friendship. Uh, when we think about love sometimes with the color red, it's like a fiery passion. It's like, urgh, you want intense uh, energy for the color red. For pink, there's just kind of like this peacefulness that comes over with love. So you can use it for romance, affection, uh, sweetness in life. Like I said, peacefulness, self-love, and friendship. That's what pink is good for. Now I'm going to talk about types of candles, how you can use them, and how you can dress your candle. So one type of candle is this, which is a taper candle. So the taper candles have its, the wick at the top. There's no like protective casing in it. You just kind of put it in a holder. Um, you have to be careful with taper candles to make sure that they're on a stable surface so that they don't wobble and fall over. Um, always make sure that you have safety when it comes to uh, your candles, any type of fire element that you're working with. 
And with taper candles, it's easier to dress them. And I'll explain that in a minute, how to dress your candles. The next type of candle is called a seven day candle and they're in these glass containers. Um, these are ones that I use more often are the seven day candles because they're just a little bit safer than the taper candles. Uh, and the plain ones are very easy to find. The local grocery store for me is Publix and I can find these in Publix. I can also find these in my spiritual store. I can find these in the Latin grocery store that's close to me. Um, I can also find these in the uh, botanicas that are close to me. You may be able to find these seven day candles in various places that are close to you. Um, I think sometimes they even may have them in like Home Depot or some type of home goods store. You can dress these a little harder to dress these candles and I'll explain why. The next type of candle is tea candles and while these are small little candles they burn out much quicker you can still do some work with tea candles. They only come in white. I haven't seen tea candles in other colors. Maybe they are, but I've only seen tea candles in white. Um, and for me, that works perfectly because sometimes I just need kind of a blank surface to do something with my intentions. Uh, so uh, a white candle is very simple. But like I said, these burn very quickly. I would say for me, they burn in like a half a day. So keeping that in mind and like the duration and how long you want your candles to burn, just all of that. So I'm gonna talk about dressing candles. When I talk about dressing candles, I'm basically talking about how to use the candle to enhance the energy even more. So let's start from <laughs> base. Any type of work you do, spiritual work, setting the intention, having the confidence, having that just belief, even the slightest amount of belief that the intention that you're setting is going to come to you or is already present. So that already is the energy that you need to come into with setting the intention, is believing that the intention is possible, that you can achieve it. Then when you're using the element of fire with these candles, you're kind of beefing that intention up even more. You're heightening the energy by using the candle. The element of fire is a transformative element. It's taking something from one state and moving it to another state. So with fire and setting intentions, basically you're saying that the current condition or the previous condition that you were in, you wanna then transform it and change it into something else. So you use the element of fire for that. When you dress the candle, it's like you're beefing up the energy like 10 times that much more. So you have the intention, the belief, you have the element of fire, and you're dressing the candle to enhance, boom, boom, boom. You're just like supercharging that energy and that intention. So I'll start with the taper candles because it's easier with the taper candles to show you how to dress them. Basically what you're going to do is you can use a, a certain types of essential oils. Be very careful with essential oils because some of them can be flammable, so you don't wanna like <laughs> make this just like a, a, a torch. So uh, be aware of certain uh, oils that may be more susceptible to fire um, than other oils. If you don't wanna use oils at all, just to kind of be precautionary, you can just have the intention as you're working with this particular taper candle. So you can hold the candle and set the intention by simply dressing it that way. So you don't necessarily have to use um, any type of oils. The other way that you can dress the candle is, say for instance, um, like let's just say this was pink and I wanted to draw more self-love into my life. Because the taper candle is easier to work with, I could write my name on the candle just kind of like scratch it in there and scribe it with my name and putting in the attention of bringing about more love for myself. If you wanna bring in more money, which people often do, uh, you can actually write down the dollar amount or like scratch it into the candle, write it on the candle how much you want to see into your life. And as it burns, that's the intention that you're setting. In addition to putting certain things on the candle, like writing it, you can charge it with the energy that you want to see, the intention that you want to see manifest in the physical world. So you can do that with moonlight, um, not with sunlight, but you can do that with moonlight and you can just also do that by 
speaking the intention into the candle, saying positive affirmations into the candle. Now with seven day candles, because they are already in a glass, it's harder to dress them, but you can still do stuff on the top. So say for instance, you want to, abundance is always a good thing because that is, <laughs> people are always thinking about abundance and money. Um, so one of the things that you can do is like put sprigs of like, um, cloves because cloves is good to bring in money good to bring in any type of abundance really but specifically if you want money you can uh, kind of drill some holes in it not actually using a drill but just kind of like create a little pocket for the cloves to sit in there be careful also once again about flammability and all of this i would just recommend to like be careful <laughs> just understand what things are flammable always making sure that you are very 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 careful please be careful i don't want nobody coming back to this video be like my house burned down um because kendall said to do xyz please don't please don't no we're not doing that but if you don't want to dress a seven day candle yourself there are plenty of places that you can get candles that have already been charged with energy if you don't have a botanica that's close to you that already has seven day candles already imbibed with certain energies, whether that's for a particular deity, god, goddess, or certain energies. Um, you can uh, find them online. I'll put in the description box a link to uh, a company, House of Hoodoo. Uh, she's based in New Orleans. And all of her stuff, I haven't purchased anything for myself, but everything that I have seen of hers for people that have purchased her products have wonderful things to say, particularly about her candles. Anytime someone has burned one of her candles, anything that they have asked for has come to fruition. So I would recommend for any type of candle work, if you're uncomfortable with dressing them, and trust me, I am <laughs> very uncomfortable uh, dressing a candle, just simply have one that is already, uh, has already put, the person's already put the energy into it for you and you don't have to worry about putting all of the things on it that may be flammable. So check that out and make sure you find someone that really vibes with you that's selling the type of um, products that, that you like. Now with the tea candles, it's, I wouldn't dress it so much because it's smaller and um, it's going to burn quicker, but you still can write things in there. You can draw like a heart, you can put your initials in here. I mean, you can still kind of inscribe it and you can still charge the candle with your energy. You can hold it into your hand and put the intention of what it is you wanna see manifest in the candle as you're doing the prayer, meditation, whatever the thing is. So still using the tea candles, just because they're small, doesn't mean that they're less powerful always about the intention. It's always about your intention first. You can use all of these things, right? You can use all of these tools and all of this stuff, but if you don't believe it, if we're starting from base and you don't believe the intention, but you believe that all of these things are gonna help you get it, you can't put your trust into the outer things. Gotta trust yourself first, all right? If you're someone who likes to collect candles for ambiance, right? Like I have this, is it here? Oh, it's right here. I have this candle. I'm not gonna show you, well, I'm not gonna show you the label, but um, this is just like a scented candle with a soy wick. And um, there's already like essential oils in here. It's in this beautiful like a frosted glass container um or if you're like a what are those candles that everybody buys um you know what i'm talking about the candles that everybody buys is scented candles and you go into the store and you get a headache because everything smells like all the aromas are coming at you it's like assaulting your nostrils i wouldn't necessarily use those candles for any type of intention setting or magic while um i think that they are beautiful and i think that they smell good i think that they they're already starting off with a completely different intention <laughs> when they're being manufactured. Even if you were to uh, smudge them, cleanse them, it still has a different vibe. You can try it. I tried one of those candles myself um, and found that it really just, it didn't vibe, it didn't fit right. Whereas candles that are already um, 
they're they're plain. There's there's nothing. <laughs> there's no aroma in them. There's no scent. They're just plain candles. Those are easier to work with because they're starting off with just zero and you are the person that's putting the intention in them, whether you're putting uh, aroma in them, whether you're putting um, herbs on them, whatever the case may be, having something that has nothing already um, put in it energetically, I think is a good way to start off using your candles. But if, you're, have, if you have tons of candles that are just for decoration and show, keep them for decoration and show, and then have other candles that you use specifically for your spiritual work. That pretty much wraps up the candle video. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I left out. Um, there's gonna be another video that I'm gonna do after this that talks more specifically about spells, magic, intentions, and things like that. And I really encourage you to watch that video after this video. These go in together, they're con in conjunction together. Um, and so this is just talking about candles, how to use them, but talking more specifically about energy, creating spells, magic, intentions, that is something that I really encourage you to watch because that will give you much more information about how to actually use the energy, not just the things, not just like the candles and the sound bowls and the crystals, but how to use your energy to bring forth um, the things that you want to see manifest in your life. All right. I thank you so much for watching. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, any things that you want to share, or if you want to put in some colors that I did not talk about, like brown, like silver, gold, anything like that, you want to share any of your uh, candle magic, please do so. Put uh, that in the comments below. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe because this stuff is good. You know it's good. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video where we'll talk about spells and magic. That's going to be exciting. Please take care of yourself first and foremost. Know that I love you and have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful life. How about that? Have a wonderful life. All right. See you on the next video. Bye.